Taking a picture of the church from the outside, this is what you see. A nice looking magnificent edifice with a fancy colored brick finish. At the main entrance is a combination of aluminum glass panels and an entrance double glass door that opens to the main auditorium or the vestibule. It can also be called the main lobby of the church. This main lobby has a skylight, a see-through glass ceiling that enables you to see the sky day and night. This skylight is purposely designed to lighten up this space artificially during the day thereby saving us a lot of money on electricity. This is our proposed church auditorium capable of seating over 225 people to 500 people at once, if not much more. In theory, these numbers will be kept at 225 as required by the building's department in order for us to waive parking requirements. But in practical, it can sit much more than that. This factor can be overcome later in the nearest future. Details about this and how to get it resolved will be handled by one of the members in the building committee. At the altar or stage area, we have the choir stand, the band stand, and the pastors and ministers stand. The beauty of this space is that it is completely insulated and well furnished, making the heating and ventilating system very effective, efficient, energy saving thereby saving the church a whole lot of money on utilities. Be sure and certain to have a feel of the heat and AC irrespective of where you are seated here. The interior walls will be decorated with beautiful interior wall finish such as special window panels and various cosmetic wall finish fascinating to the eyes. Looking at both view from the main lobby is a terrace that enables one to see people coming in and out of the church building. It also enables one to have a clear view of the main church auditorium from the second floor. Right here is the multi purpose hall which will be called the children's room. This is one of our major breakthroughs in this project. It is called the multi purpose hall because it will serve various purposes like special church events such as mothers or fathers day event, couples retreat event, health fair wedding reception and so on and so forth, saving the church a lot of money through hall rentals. And this multi-purpose hall is almost as spacious as where we are right now. It can be decorated to blend with the nature of the event taking place. This hall will be well furnished looking like one of those gorgeous halls we see in hotels and event centers. We also have a kitchen that allows us to cook our favorite African dishes with no restrictions to the glory of God like we normally experience whenever we go out there to search for halls for special events. Right here is the pre-teens hall and we also have this space as a teenager's class which will be well furnished to the glory of God. Either of this room can serve as a conference hall for special meetings by the pastor. On the second floor we have our spacious pastor's office and next to it is the pastor Mrs. office to the glory of God. They both share a common toilet whereby both parties can go through to get to each other's office without gaining access from the outside. I'll think the working for my good 
Yeah, cause he's intentional. Never failing. I know that all things are working for my good. Yeah. Now let somebody shout hallelujah. This is our dream. We are the dreamer and the Lord Jesus Christ is our dream come true. Building a fundraising committee, the redeemed Christian Church of God, Tabernacle Restoration. Thank you and God bless you.